So, I went and bought my first road bike yesterday. Um, got fitted for it for a long time, actually. And so I asked him at the beginning, I'm like, hey, man, can we um, put markings on it for, like, my seat height and all the other things that move so that we can, so that I have a reference point um, to be able to come back to if anything slips? And he said, yeah, and I'm pretty sure he totally forgot. And I kind of forgot during the thing. So I got back home. I wrote it for probably 10 minutes. I wrote it back home. And I just marked the seat. I don't have a liquid paper pen or anything. like, But I have a blue permanent marker. And I put a ring around where the seat height is. Um, but anything else, like I don't know exactly where to put, where to do anything. So if you if you guys know where exactly like he said handlebars but like where like i'm looking at this i know i know this goes up and down like this but from from here then do i i don't know i don't want to make any markings if i if i'm not doing it at the right spot anyway <clears throat> so this is yeah let me just show you my bike real quick so here it is guys 2015 giant defy 3 cost me 950 plus tax I bought some uh, <clears throat> mountain bike shoes and switched out the pedals for clips and so grand total about eleven fifty. He gave me a little discount just because it's the fall and um, so that was kind of nice. But I've ridden it. I, I took a test ride, a couple test rides before I bought it. Really, really liked it. Really smooth. Um, it's this is a medium, so there's small, medium, medium, large, large. I think there's extra large, and then I think that's it. But this is a medium. I'm five foot ten, so let's see. It's got compact cranks, fifty thirty four, I believe it is. Um, the Shimano Sora double. Um, what is it called? Shifters. <clears throat> um, aluminum frame, uh, the only, every, pretty much everything that's, that's, you know, everything is aluminum alloy, except the forks on this are carbon fiber. So I asked him about that. I'm like, is that really a big deal? And he's like, no, it doesn't really matter. Just cause, um, basically when you, if you crash a bike, usually it's not your fork that is going to be. And you know what? You know, I don't know. He was even going into how carbon, like, he's had crashes on carbon bikes and they haven't cracked and stuff. I know that, you know, aluminum is a lot more durable. So that is what I would, um, so, so this is what I chose. Um, going to be an awesome bike for me. I'm going to get an indoor trainer so that I can, um, put skewers through the, the back wheel there, through the little, whatever it's called. And pop that up and be able to train during the winter because that is my main goal. You know, during the winter is I'm not going to be, it's going to be too icy probably outside, too much snow. Um, I don't want to ruin the bike. I don't want to, I probably wouldn't ruin it, but I just don't want to, I don't want to, you know, it's dangerous conditions riding a road bike uh, in the winter. So, yeah, this is it. And another thing I wanted to mention is tomorrow is my one year anniversary um, being vegan. So, not high carb, low fat vegan, but vegan. So I think about three weeks after I became a vegan, I, I transitioned over to high carb, low fat. Um, so I'll do a weigh in. I'll show you pictures of my body, whatever you want to see when I wake up and kind of give you an explanation of, uh, well, not an explanation, but an overview of how this past year has been for me. Um, so yeah, look for that. I'll probably put this video with that video tomorrow, so it's just one long video, so it won't be two. Um, all right, I'm going to go take it out for a spin, because I voted today, and it's I've had a long day. So I just want to get a little ride in, be able to come back and relax for a while, maybe eat some potatoes. All right, see you guys later. Thanks for watching. May your dates always be dank. Um, yeah, I'll say this at the end of the video. Woo!
All right, hey there YouTube, Veganomics here. Um, I wanted this video to be a little more special, but I freaking, I think I lost my bike helmet, so I had to go to my mom's house and like unhinge a locked door to get one of her bike helmets. It was just crazy. So anyway, um, yeah, so one year vegan. Let me see how I can try to find myself in here. One year vegan today. Um, so as you can see, I definitely gained weight. I gained probably 20 pounds. <clears throat> but here's the thing, I've plateaued. I haven't been above 175 the whole time, and I've been at 170, 74, 173, 172 for about six months now. So, um, I really what it is for me is I need to kick up my exercise. I need to kick up my cycling and my running and my just being more active. I need to kick that up a notch because it's not my food. It's my basically I'm feeding myself enough rice and potatoes and fruits right now to maintain my weight but I'm not doing enough exercise. I'm not doing almost anything. Hardly anything. So I just got a new app. It's called um, the hell is it called? Hold on. Alright I just got a new app. It's called Pacer. It, it's a pedometer. It counts your steps but it's free. So um, I realized I'm walking between five and seven thousand steps per day when they recommend trying ten thousand. So for the last two days, I've worn this, like I've been carrying my phone with me, <clears throat> and I've gone ten thousand steps each day plus. Um, so yeah, so today I'm closer to like thirteen thousand anyway. So um, pretty pretty cool app. Uh, it's free. Pacer again. It's Pacer. It's free. It's a it's a pedometer. Your your phone, and it's really accurate too. Like I counted my steps from one to a hundred, and it was like two off. So, and it was actually two less than I had stepped. So, um, what else? How do I feel? I feel pretty good. Other than I feel just like a little bit, kind of like not depressed, but just a little down that like my weight is up so high. But again, it's just because I don't do enough exercise, guys, um, to be honest. Um, what else? Well, if I can think of anything else, I'll say something, but hold on. All right, so looking forward, um, one year under my belt, vegan. So actually, <clears throat> honestly, not even one year 80, 10, 10, because for the first three weeks of my being vegan, I was following like Dan McDonald, like, calorie restricting heavily like I was not doing to 80 10 10 eating enough I was when I wasn't starving myself but I was definitely um, not eating enough so going forward from now on let's see from year one to year two now where I am at the end of year um, two so this time next year let's see where my weight is let's see where my physical fitness is where my physique is where what I look like um, cause I didn't really have a, a long picture, like a video of my body or anything, but it's pr pretty much cause like my roommate, I think he had to use the bathroom this morning and I was in the bathroom using the scale and all this stuff. So I kind of, you know, did him a, not did him a favor, but get common courtesy, just got out of the bathroom. So, um, if you guys like really want to see my body and whatever, I can make another video on that at another time, like tomorrow or whatever. Anyway, just wanted to say thanks for subscribing, thanks for watching. Um, about 250 of you guys, uh, loyal subscribers, so thank you so much. Um, see where we can go from here, you know? I, I love doing what I eat videos, I love doing like what's going on, like vlog style videos in my life with my garden, with the cycling, how I'm feeling, different recipes, stuff like that. So let me know if you guys want to see anything in particular and I'll keep doing what I do what I'm doing um, again thank you so much for subscribing to this channel and I will see you guys later don't forget to be um, awesome don't forget to be awesome that's funny DFTBA uh, I didn't mean to say that I actually was gonna say um, may your dates always be dank may your, may your bananas always be ripe um, and yeah alright so one year down let's go for the rest of my life I'm totally doing it, Not no looking back.